gonna share with you uh, another recipe of, of mine. Um, fried chicken. Everybody loves fried chicken, so today I'm just gonna do some fried chicken. I'm going to surprise my granddaughter, um, Ava, cause she loves chicken. And we're gonna kinda send her some chicken today, her and the rest of the kids, but it'll be a surprise for her because she loves chicken. Now I have my grease heated up here, ready to go. Guess I'm gonna take this off and uh, put it over here. I got my soapy bleach water ready and prepared. So we're gonna be using the seasoning. Um, I think this is garlic powder. Yep, garlic powder. We have onion powder. This is one that I use in my chicken. I sent this for another mother prescriber. It's chicken fajita seasoning, and she used to use it on everything. So I'll begin to use this on some of my chickens. Not all the time, but then again, my chicken rub. And again, complete seasoning. Another shout out to so my YouTuber that uses this. Now I have my chicken, it's already seasoned. I cleaned it, washed it, seasoned it. It's been marinating for like a little bit over three hours or so. But here it is and, and everything that I put before you is on the chicken already, seasoned and ready to go. I have my flour here and what I'm going to do is I'm gonna put all of these seasonings in my flour to give it, to give it seasoning. And then I'm going to add a little extra a little something, something. This is poultry seasoning. I'm just gonna put a little bit of that, not even a, a, a whole uh, teaspoon, but just a little bit of that in with my, about that much. I'm gonna put that, that in right there. We're gonna go ahead and add our garlic while my heat is, uh, my oil is heating up. Garlic powder in there, again, for those of you that are joining, I don't cook and measure everything. I do by taste and touch. Um, old fashioned cooking, I guess. Um, but you know, sit back and enjoy it. This is the uh, onion powder. I'm gonna use this seasoning, which is the chicken fajita. Not a lot, just a little bit to give it a little something different. And you see I don't have salt because most of these seasonings are already salted, okay? And so I don't want to put add too much and by me already um, adding seasoning in that. We don't need, you know, salt. So here we go. And again, I, I, I don't measure, I just do. And it might have been a, a, a teaspoon and a half, I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna mix it in with my, mix that in real good. Oh, even the seasoning smell good in it. Wow, oh my goodness. Wow. Oh, goodness. Oh, my stuff is heating up. Oh, wow. I hope everybody's had a great day today. And even if you, if, 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 if things didn't go right, guess what? You're still blessed because you made it through. Okay? I think I'm going to put a little more of this chicken rub in here. I love my chicken rub. Just a little bit more chicken rub. Uh -uh. Mix that in a little bit. I always flavor my, um, you know, I flavor, I like flavor my, um, can't, I got the flavoring in my chicken, but I love flavoring my flour um, to give that little extra. Okay, so once we get finished with all of that. Okay. Now I got that heating. This is ready. Now, like I said, I always have. I'm a clean freak, so I hate messes and flour. Oh my goodness. Okay, so the way I test my, I, uh, I got taught this too and I forgot. Somebody said you take a wooden, just a little wooden something to test your, your oil. So you put it in there. And when you see the sizzling, the sizzling, you know that the grease is ready, so look at that, that sizzle right there, the sizzle. I don't know who gave me this tip, but y'all know who you are, and I thank you for that tip. I don't know if I got it off of YouTube or where, but I know somebody said if you put a wooden, you know that, like a little wooden uh, toothpick or whatever, and it bubbles up, a constant bubble, let you know. And then, you know, most times, people take a little pinch of that, 
So it's not it's not quite hot. It's not maybe I need to turn it up just a little bit more because I have it on. I'm gonna do it on four about four four twenty five. Yeah, about four twenty five. Okay. So we're gonna. Uh oh, excuse me. Tough. Maybe that's enough. Yeah. So I hope everybody again, like I said, is having a good old time. And this is just. Yeah, come on. I want it to get, you know, hot enough. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Another bit more. Yeah. So, chicken, I, I love cooking chicken now because when I first started out cooking chicken, boy, I was so disgusted with myself because um, um, I used to try to cook it and I would cook it good on the outside and the minute you bit into it oh my it was not done and so for a long time i didn't want to cook chicken but you know what i found out in cooking alone practice makes perfect the more you do it that's the better you get at it so guys out there don't give up on something or say well i'm not going to cook it because you know i, I failed at it failure makes you stronger so go ahead you know Fail, but get back up and try it again. The more you try it, that's the better you become with it. And I tell you, I love I love cooking. I don't dread cooking chicken now. I love cooking chicken because you know, you, once you get that niche, you get it. And uh, you just fall in love with it, you know? So I love that. So we're gonna test it again with the, the stick in it. Okay, I think it's about ready. So what I'm gonna do is, look at my little thumb. Cute, huh? Look at that. So we got the flour ready, so we're gonna start dipping. Now let me see if it's gonna work, because if it don't work, I, I can put this down too. There we go. I just didn't wanna do it with my hand, but I got my trusty gloves, y'all. Just in case. Everybody don't like to see everybody put their hands in stuff, so I got my trusty gloves too. So we're gonna do it like that. Make sure it's drying. Oh, there we go. Look at that. These are cute, but I think I better use my other ones that had more of a grip. They were just cute for testing, okay? There we go. What we do here is go back, back, Okay, that's what we want. Now I don't even know if this can, you know what? Let me quit. I need to get my chicken in here, playing around. Trying to be cute. Okay. I use this one because I didn't feel like messing up my stove today. I did it once today and, and I uh, decided, no, I'll just I'll go ahead and do it in this. Okay. Here we go. The second piece of it. Alrighty, that's what I like to hear. That sizzle. That sizzle. Take some of that off. And put you in there. So this should be really interesting for my granddaughter. I, I just see her little smiling face and her little eyes poked out, but she loves her chicken. And I did enough of it so that she won't have a problem with somebody thinking that they got more than she got. She loves her chicken. She will fight you over her chicken. So here we go. And this is some of the things that you like doing, you know, um, for your kids. All of my kids and grandkids have favorite or whatever they want to eat. And uh, a lot of times when we have dinner, I do like my mom, like I was saying in my first video, if you didn't watch it, you go over to my first video and watch it in this kitchen. Um, and I was saying how my mom always made sure we ate and she always made sure everybody ate something. So she, she would, I know many people don't, but my mom would fix a variety so that she would make sure everybody would eat. And that's what I loved about her. I was like, okay, mom. So I guess you pick up those habits because that's how I am with my grandkids and children. I, when I'm cooking for them, I want everybody to eat and enjoy what they're eating. So I'm gonna put one more piece in here. And I think that the pot is crowded enough. Put the one more piece. We're gonna let this cook. Be back when it's time to turn it over. Be back when it's time to turn it over, guys. I'll see you in a minute, okay? Okay, we're back. We're gonna check on the chicken now. Um, 
leave it on, on well I do, uh, from seven, six to seven minutes on one side. Don't keep checking it, just leave it that way on one side. And now it's time for us to check to see where, we, where our process is. Oh, see there? You're gonna almost see the golden, so now I'm gonna turn mine over. There we go. That's about how I want it. And it depends on how, how crunchy you want yours or how dark of the meat you want it. But um, yeah, that's about. I'm flipping that over. Mmm, we need to smell the smell. Oh my goodness. They were gonna love this. Okay, so like I was saying, you know, um, this was my pet peeve, but some, some, maybe this, you know, is not anybody else's pet peeve. Now it's not. Um, but like I said, cooking is a process, it's a practice like anything else, like trying to learn how to drive a car, you know. Um, and then some people don't like to take the time, but I love me some good fried chicken. I don't eat as much fried chicken as I used to due to, you know, health reasons and stuff. And, and I've had to calm down on a, a, a lot of things, but you know, fried chicken, that's, that's that one meal that everybody loves. You could take fried chicken and a biscuit and you got a meal. And so, you know, for all of you who are out there, I hope that uh, you're feeling like yummy to the tummy right now and it'll encourage you to get up and, and at least cook you uh, something wholesome that, that you like. You know, you don't have to have it every day because uh, we understand that, you know, uh, our cholesterol and things as we get older, you know, it, it, it shoots up on us. And even as young people, I understand, you know, healthy eating. And I, I eat healthy. Um, I have my healthy um, foods that I do cook. And I'll be showing you some of them too. Um, but today we're doing the fried chicken. And, and you know, I, as I look at this fried chicken, I got to give a holler out to my baby sister, Sabrina. She loves it. You, she can eat it every day. And uh, we laugh at her all the time because she's like, uh huh, you know, you want to get it, you want to get in a fight, mess with her chicken. Her and I think my nephew Don is the same way. He loves they, they love their chicken, and so we laugh at them all the time. So I'm gonna leave this like this for the next six or seven minutes, you know, and take it out, and then I'll have to come back and put the second second uh, batch in. But for right now, it's cooking well. One, two. And what I will do is just cut it down just a little bit because I don't want it to overcook. I want it to be golden on, on all sides. Uh, and that's where we're going to be at, right here. So for you that love chicken, and I know there's different kind of ways that, that we can have chicken because, man, all of these chicken recipes are out here and stuff, and, and sometimes we don't know what to do exactly with chicken, but there are so you can make up your own recipes for your chicken. You don't necessarily have to be fried. Make up your, I love doing different types of uh, baked chicken and trying out different type of ingredients for for uh, those chickens. So, yeah, my timer went off. I had I had it timed too, too long. But I just about no, but I was just trying to be sure. But anyway, yeah, keep an eye on your chicken when it's cooking and stuff. Um, like I said, um, you'll get a better response out of your chicken if you just Keep it on one side from six to seven minutes or depending on how crunchy you want it or how, how brown you want it. But um, you want to cook it for too long and then you don't want to cook it on completely on high for a long time. You can take and in between cut it down, cut it down, you know, a couple of notches so that it, so that it will be cooked, not only on the outside but also on the inside. Okay, so that's my tip for you today. Okay, so what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to let this cook and then I'm going to come back with you when this is over. By the time I come back to you, I'll come back and I'll be putting the second batch in. That's what we'll do when I come back. Okay, so I will see you when this is finished cooking and um, when, we're, when I'm putting in the second batch. We'll flour it and then we'll put it in the second batch. Be with you in a minute, okay? Hey, we're back guys. We are back, I'm sorry, we're back. We're gonna check the chicken. The temperature of it being done should be 165, so I have my little meter here. And we're gonna check it to see if it's, if it's where it should be, and if so, we're taking this out. So let's go. I'm gonna see and put it in here. Oh, it's rising. 
So yeah, your chicken done is like 165 done. And there we go, it's 165. So the 165, I can I can take it out. And I've got my little, my dish ready, look at that. Look how golden brown that is, y'all. You take it out, Ava's gonna love this. And this is as brown as I want mine. Oh yeah. She is gonna love this. Well, not just her, I should say the whole family, but I, my little Ava, honey. Yes, so this is my chicken. And we're gonna do the second batch also. After I get this out, we're gonna put that second batch in there. And we're just gonna keep on moving down the line here. Look at that. That's how you want it. That's how you want it. Okay, so here we go. I'm gonna put that in. And remember, the chicken is done at 165. So yes, I cooked it from six to seven minutes on one side, and you just Put it in there and you just let it stay. Don't, you know, that's that's how you mess it up. Turning it back and forth, it's uneven cooking. But when you just, you know, take it and let it sit there for that minute on each side, it it, it gets done. Check, always check your meat because you don't want to have anything, eating anything, especially chicken. Whether you're baking it, frying it, whether you got it on the grill or what have you, um, you always want to make sure it is truly done. We don't want anybody getting sick. So follow, you know, be cautious in how, how you cook it. Take your time in cooking it. Let it do what it do. And you'll be fine, you'll be fine. I had to learn that through trial. When you learn it through trial and error, you really do. You know, yeah. And I'm thankful for all of you who are viewing in. I thank you so much, you know. Um, you know, we need encouragement. And so, you know, anybody who is, just go out there and try it. You're never too old to learn. I'm, I'm learning that as I get older. You know, I don't, you don't have to be young to to start something. Well guys, we're back. Time to check on the chicken. The last time. And again, we're gonna kind of take it out. There we go. The last of our chicken. Look at that. How you want it? Look at that. Oh, look at that, you Yes, indeed. You guys, I want you to remember, 165 is the degree that the chicken should be done at. Again, in cooking, just take your time and love what you're doing. Oh, this looks so delicious. Hmm. Hey, we're gonna love that. I'm gonna cut this off, so we are done. I wanna say thank you all for tuning in to Lynn's Kitchen. And again, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. We're grateful for all your comments, and please subscribe. And I'll see you again next time.